patriotic figures of 1916. And he wrote this next song, if you are a soldier laddie, to remind people of the 17th century, when this town, more than any other town in the war, country, and suffered indeed uh, the horrible uh, massacre when Cromwell's army came to this town. So we're singing this song about the same period of our history, and here's a uh, path to open the show with the Irish soldier laddie. Some morning in July, I was brought through to prairie. I heard a battle cry on the mountains overhead. I looked up in the sky, saw that I was soldier lady. He looked at me with fearless and said, Come on, let's go. Will you stand in the land like a true Irish man and go and fight the forces of the crown? Will you march from O'Neill to an Irish battlefield? Town. I say it's still that soldier boy, would you take me to your captain? It'll be me pride and joy to march with you today. My brother fell in Cork, my son in Escorty, to the noble captain I would say. Let's hear a singing. Will you stand in the land like a true Irish man? And go and fight the horses of the crown. Down by the girls. This time I'm going to sing a couple of oldies, but goldies, a couple of blasts from the past, a couple of raves from the grave. And I want to dedicate this uh, indeed to a, a kind gentleman that I met many years ago. He was like myself, a big fan of the Ross Tolkien and the great cyclist that we had in the 50s, 60s, indeed, that brought indeed uh, a great uh, notoriety to indeed the, the sportsmanship indeed of cycling. And that cycling tradition had come indeed from the War of Independence and from the struggle for our freedom. By many of indeed of our volunteers cycled this country on their bike bicycles. And uh, so here's a ballad. I'm sure that many of you boys and girls will identify with the struggle for uh, freedom. Remembers a young man from Limerick who died on the 1st of January 1957. Chance out from Gary Owen. Jermaine, Sean 